Okay guys, it is username Kate and welcome back to my channel. So this is the first ride on my new bike. Still trying to name it. I mean Donald will always, and I mean always, have a special place in my heart. That bike was epic. But it is now time for the GS, the R1200 GS. And I absolutely can't wait to get on it. So without further ado, let's just crack on, throw a leg over it and see how it is. So it's one of them. Hop a leg over, take it off the stand, swap feet. Right, first things first, let's get it in dynamic mode. We're not fanning about with the other ones. Awesome. And off we go. Oh, it feels so good to be on a Jess. Nothing coming. And away we go. Oh, it feels so good. So, believe it or not, this is my first time riding an R1200 GSTE. I didn't even test ride it. I've been really spoiled, obviously, working at Williams Motorcycles in Manchester. I get to ride the new 1250s all the time. And I thought, this bike, it turned up in my price range. It's in the triple black. I absolutely adore the triple black. And I just thought, it's a bit of me. It's a bit older. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not too proud to have older bikes. Oh, yes, that GS feeling. I am back, baby. Now, I've got to remember that I've got panniers in a top box <laughs> because I'll probably just think, oh, I'll filter and then realise that that is absolutely not a good idea because I am the width of a barge right now. Like, normally I'd filter through there, but I'm not used to these panniers. I don't ride with panniers. I don't really ever use them i guess but i'm sure i will now that i've got them so it's a 16 plate i've gone for the t spec so i've got my heated grips i've got my modes i've still got my cruise control my dynamic electronic suspension which is set in the lowest setting right now because i'm pretty sure and it's a full height gs but my seat's in the lowest setting the suspension's in the lowest setting and I can just about cope all right. Oh, I tell you what, it's so liberating not wearing a rucksack. I've just whacked it in my panniers, haven't I? Now, one thing that my bike didn't come with, which is a little bit upsetting, I'll not lie, is the gear shift assist. So it doesn't have a quick shifter and auto blipper. God damn. However, as you guys know, when you're buying used bikes, you know, they just are what they are, aren't they? I could get it fitted, um, but I think it, it's like £500 jobby, so it's not cheap. Oh, I'm having a nice shower from the car in front. Oh, I love GSs. You know what? I thought the engine would be like crazy different people say it's like chalk and cheese and i thought have i spoiled this experience for myself but i just think if you get a 1200 because that's what you can afford or you want a new 1250 i feel like you're gonna have a cracking time on any of them oh it's still got that grunt i love it i'm in love i am enamored <laughs> yeah it's so nice not to uh not to need to wear a rucksack. Whacked it in my pizza box I have. Oh. 
quick shoulder check shift over here oh I am absolutely in my elephant wow that's a unique car so today at work I've been running around like a headless chicken getting it all sorted getting it insured obviously I gave the lovely people at bike share a call and they sorted me out with a policy which is absolutely fabulous so thank you bike share just a quick one guys if you're ever looking for an insurance quote on your bike I'll always link bike shares well the username and bike share collaboration link where you can actually request a quote from there I'll put that in my bio I've had a lot of people messaging me in the comments saying that bike share have recently looked after them so that's really nice to see speaking of bike share I have got a zoom call scheduled very soon with the one and only Carl Fogarty <laughs> and we're gonna plan some content we've already got a few ideas in the pipeline and they're really really cool uh, but we're just gonna firm them out make some proper plans and uh, you'll be able to see that content on my own as well as bike shares feed which I think is really really cool oh it was the right thing to do you know I thought I'm really gonna miss Donald am I doing the right thing I get to ride Jesses all the time why should I have one in my garage and it came up and it was just so perfect and it was triple black and I love that and I just thought you only live once and also because I do get to ride so many be oh wow look at this traffic I have made an error because I do get to ride so many BMWs with work I figured that Mike was riding my Triumph more than I was and I think Mike really wanted something a bit more comfy to ride around on so the fact that I've got this I can take a 1250 GS from work Mike can borrow this and we can go out together and I just think it'll be awesome and then obviously username dad's got a GS so that's amazing I'm also going to slot in just here just hop my way along oh that sound speaking of the sound I am so excited to get an exhaust on this what do you guys recommend because I've been looking at Remus it's got to be a black one for the triple black obviously and I've seen some proper pretty looking ones that have got a nice rumbly tone to them so if you guys can think of any or recommend any please do I'm absolutely made up I can't tell you I was worried that it was going to feel so different from the GS's that I've been spoilt with but it really doesn't like teapot one says it feels like chalk and cheese and I don't know maybe it's because I haven't ridden a an R1250 GS on the road properly for a while but maybe it is quite different but if it is i'm not disappointed with this in the slightest it's still got that poke it's still got that pull it's still got that low down weight which i absolutely adore i'm just really here for this bike i'm proper proper chuffed with my choice i'm absolutely not used to looking at this dash at all and I do obviously prefer the TFT I'm a sucker for it but it is what it is deal with it blocks of wood in the road nice and safe just what you need as a biker I don't know what it is with GS's I feel like you can be the world's most average rider and you can feel like an absolute boss on one of these bikes because they're so easy to ride and they're just awesome so 
so I've just cut out all that boring waiting time because <laughs> nobody wants to watch me stuck in traffic <laughs> but yeah I think what I have to say is I'm so happy with my decision I'm really glad I've got no doubts thank you guys for coming along with me for this initial ride on my new baby oh ship holes So if you guys want to see more adventures on the GS, now that it's mine, please let me know, let me know what you want to see. As usual, I want to say a massive thank you to you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks again everyone.